Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And today I just want to have a one on one planner chat with y'all about what's going on in my planner world and all the changes that I have done in my planner lineup, my planner system. So if you're interested in hearing all the latest planner tea that's going on with my life, just keep on watching. But before we get into the video, please drop a comment down below and let me know what's new in your planner world and in your planner setup. Have you changed up your planner system? Have you changed up your planner lineup? Have you added new planners? Have you changed planners? Have you dropped planners? Have you broken up with a planner? I would love to know. Let your girl know. Um, I don't really have a lot of like planner friends in real life. I know it's a tragedy. I don't understand. Well, I have like a few friends who use a planner, but I don't have friends who have multiple planners, if you know what I mean. So I just like making my planner friends here in our beautiful planner community. But yeah, just let me know. I want to know. So, okay, so I have major updates, major news with my planner system, my planner lineup. So I recently made huge changes to my planner system. And the planner system is kind of like how your planners are structured and set up. And planner lineup is the planners that compose your planner system, if that makes sense. So you could change your system without changing your lineup and change your lineup without changing your system, if that makes sense. So I made major changes to my planner system. So for the last year and a half, I would say, I have been working within a 17-ish planner system split into two huge mega planners. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I have had like these two really chunky Franken planners of various happy planners because I just use happy planner. I've taken like eight happy planners, squished them into one major mega happy planner, and then squished nine into another huge mega happy planner. And honestly, I just used my like nine happy planner system, Franken planner, more often than I used my eight one because there was one planner, Franken planner, that I combined all of like my more day to day stuff, like work, school, um, fitness, wellness, faith, meal planning, household, uh, YouTube, and then there was my more hobbies one where I wasn't in that planner like on a day-to-day -day basis and sometimes I just even use that planner as like a journal and a workbook as opposed to like an actual planner. Like I had a Japanese planner, a reading journal, um, uh, my like social life planner, um, my personal, uh, my personal journal, things like that. And so that was another reason why I was able to like maintain so many planners is because a couple of them I just didn't use as traditional planners. And so it was a lot easier to like uh, keep up with them if that makes sense. And another reason I would say I was able to use so many planners is because I have very flexible employment, you know, I can decide when and where I want to work pretty much and as long as I get my work done, things are fine. Um, of course there are exceptions to that, like when I have to actually teach in the classroom or when I have to, you know, show up for um, team meetings or meetings with my supervisors, um, you know, I have to like be there at that time. but. For the most part, I would say I have a pretty flexible schedule. And then probably the second reason I am able to maintain so many planners is because I am a single woman with no children and I just don't have those huge responsibilities. So that's another reason why I was able to maintain so many planners, but it does take a lot of time and effort. So that system worked wonderfully for me for a good amount of time. I was really happy with that system. And then about two weeks ago, I just felt like it was time to change things up. 
And honestly, that is the beauty of a disc bound system, happy planner, uh, a planner that's able um, to be so heavily customized. Um, like the happy planner is, it's on discs, so you're able to pop pages on and off and just like shift them and move them all around. So I just felt like I wanted to switch things up and I broke down my two huge Franken planners into, I think, six-ish, six planners. And I just, I'm so happy that I did that because I feel so much more motivated and inspired by my planner system. It's definitely more convenient for me in a lot of ways. It was nice having everything kind of in these two central locations, but I was feeling like I wanted a little bit more compartmentalization and I wanted the ability to just grab my work planner and leave my home planner or just grab my home planner and leave my work planner. Having my work planner just always there it was a little bit, it was starting to like stress me out because I would just see everything that I had to do in my work planner when I was just trying to like look at what I needed to do for my household or when I was just trying to see what I needed to do for my meal prep and I decided to switch it up and break it down into um, these larger categories. So the first planner that I broke uh, my huge mega planner um, into was this planner. So this I used the Hello 2022 planner cover um, that was released this year. This was a color block planner and I put it on this retro rainbow discs and I put five planners in here. I put, um, let's see, I also put in like my new year's resolutions and my morning routine and my sticky note dashboard and my year at a glance pages in the beginning. But the majority of this planner is um, my work planner, my work planners. So the first planner I have in here is my Vertical Mickey Oasis planner. This is my graduate work. It has all of my like scientific research in it. Probably uh, the planner that I use the most. My second planner is my Color Block uh, Colorful Doodles planner. That is um, that. Those pages are from this planner here. And this planner is like my higher education work as an adjunct uh, faculty instructor um, at another university and my communications and outreach work at my own university. So this is just all like higher education stuff that, um, that I work in, positions that I work in. So I have that planner in there as well. I also added in um, an undated vertical Mickey Mouse uh, month. And this is for my science communication work. I had a lot of fun doing um, a spread with Simply Gilded stickers here. Science communication work, this is all my like community service and outreach work that I do um, to uh, promote science literacy and science education in the community. And so uh, this is all volunteer work, but it's still really like important work for me. So I have a whole separate planner dedicated to that work. And then my fourth, um, my fourth planner is my YouTube planner, and I use a Miss Maker crafting planner. This is a vertical checklist format, and I decided to put my YouTube planner right front and center with all my other work planners because I really want to prioritize this channel. I really want to build it into a business and into like another income stream that you know, gives back um, a little bit for how much I put into this channel. I would love to eventually, you know, be able to make money off of my YouTube channel, although I probably only want to do it through like Patreon and and through like selling stickers and things like that as opposed to like running ads on my YouTube channel. Like I really dislike seeing ads on people's YouTube channels. I, I just have YouTube Premium, so I don't see ads. But before I had YouTube Premium, I just didn't like seeing all the ads. And so I'd rather not like subject people to that in my videos. Although I feel like um, YouTube runs ads anyway on my videos. I heard that even if you don't like actively seek to put ads in your video, YouTube still is able to put ads on your video. So. I don't know, let me know if you see ads on my videos because 
that would really annoy me because I don't want to have ads on my videos. But I don't think there's a way I can stop it. Um, so anyways, what I'm trying to say with that is that I moved my YouTube um, planner into this work planner to help me just prioritize it more and this planner used to be in my like hobbies planner and so it's a bit of a different setup for me because I moved it right up into like some of my more important planners and so I definitely feel like I'm trying to make YouTube a priority right now so I wanted to shift that planner closer to my work planner so that I just have it more close at hand and then the last planner in here is my colorful leopard lined vertical planner and I have a little bit of mixed feelings with this planner I really enjoyed it for the last year um, this planner is what I call my world news my current events planner it's where I read articles and then I use this planner as a space to journal about them and just kind of keep a record of what it is I'm learning about you know international national affairs and the whole point of this planner was to motivate me to stay informed because I'm a type of person who struggles to you know really sit down and read like well-researched articles from respectable news sources and while I appreciate that you know that that type of writing I just I don't find myself going out of my way to like consume that kind of journalism and so this is supposed to motivate me and it really did it really instilled within me the habit of like reading news articles and going out of my way to sit down and like read a news article because I was motivated about you know using this planner putting stickers down decorating as a space to kind of like celebrate the fact that I was like reading these articles and staying informed and I feel like the planner has achieved its purpose I have built the habit I am continuing to exercise the habit I don't necessarily need a planner to encourage that behavior anymore and so I can always you know um make notes of articles I read and put them into my work planner or into my higher education planner if the article is about like education or you know um, just anything in education or I can put it into my uh, science communication article if it's anything about social justice or um, community programming or anything that fits into those categories I can kind of like see myself putting it down in other planners um, or even I could see myself using my reading journal as a space to write about the articles I'm reading because it is technically reading it's just not you know books so I think I think I'm kind of done with this planner and I think this is the last month I'm going to be using this planner and I can just uh, use the planner pages some other time. Uh, I can always redate planner pages so I'll just hold on to those and um, and yeah I think I'm I think it's time to phase out um, my current events planner and just kind of incorporate it into the other planners that I have right now in my setup. So those are the five planners in here for now and then I put six planners into this baby right here and she's also about the same size as my work one about the same size as like a regular happy planner I used my gardening undated planner cover with the sunflowers and these like classic um, gold metal discs for this planner and uh, the cover page is just really simple I used some sticker letters for my name and the planners that I have in here are my gardening planner. I use an undated vertical for this one. And this uh, collection of planners are all like my household and personal planners. So I have my garden planner in here. I have my household planner. This is from the, I want to say like the neutral blush dashboard planner and then I have uh, my meal prepping planner in here with those with those gorgeous food dividers my meal prepping in here I have my budget planner in here 
So that's this one. Um, so yeah, I have my finances in here. And then I also have my spirituality planner in here. I use a faith planner. So there's the faith divider for that one. I have also my wellness planner in here. And I use just a regular um, wellness planner for that kind of hard to see but yeah so I have six planners in here and like I said this is more of like I would call this my home planner because it has more personal stuff and more like self-care related stuff so I have six planners in here five in the other one that's 11 planners total and then I went back to putting my fitness planner into its own planner. So this is a planner I picked up recently for $2.50. And what I ended up doing was uh, using a combination of my current fitness planner, which is like the yoga fitness planner, and the uh, dividers from this Rise and Shine fitness planner. And... I remember really enjoying having just like a standalone fitness planner and so I wanted to go back to that. Uh, I feel like fitness is such a priority for me that I want it to be like its own standalone thing. I want it to just have be its own entity onto itself and be able to like flip through it and see all of the work I've done in the past year. So I went ahead and put and, and created this custom uh, I want to say there's 20 months in here, 20 months for the next, you know, for the next year and a half, basically. And I just now have just a standalone fitness planner. So now we're up to 12 planners. I also wanted to have a standalone journaling planner. So one of the planners in my like hobby planner, Franken planner, was a journaling planner and I wanted I wanted to have a creative journal where I could decorate, experiment, write poetry, doodle, journal and have it be more of like a creative space than anything else. This is one of my all-time favorite covers that the Happy Planner has released. This is the uh, pressed florals planner and I put this really cute um, cover page I decorated last year as my cover. And yeah, this is my creative journal. And I just have it as its own standalone thing as well. And whenever I'm in the mood to journal, I will journal in it. So yeah, really happy with how this one came out. And now we're up to 13 planners. And then I made my Japanese workbook slash planner its own standalone planner as well because I feel like I'm a little bit more um, prone to like t doing my Japanese lessons if I just see my planner like my Japanese planner like out and I'm like oh yes I have to you know I should probably try to squeeze in like an hour of Japanese today and well it was buried in like my eight planner franken planner i felt like it was a lot easier to just forget about it and so i wanted to pull this out again make it its own thing and also have the ability to just grab this and my little japanese like study book and just go out into the backyard and like spend an hour out there studying and not have to carry around my big planner so that was my 14th planner so for my reading journal this was my 15th planner and I also made my reading journal its own standalone thing because again, I feel like I'm more prone to just grab my reading bag with my reading planner in it, head to a cafe, you know, go sit on the beach and just bring my, just, just my reading stuff, nothing else, and be able to like journal about what it is I'm reading. So. This is a planner also that I don't use like as a traditional planner. I just write in it when I'm feeling like writing in it and I love how I'm using a horizontal planner right now. So it's perfect for writing and I just, you know, write in it when I feel like writing in it and I don't worry or stress about keeping up with the timeline. And the only reason I don't go to like a happy notes for this is because 
I just like the dividers in a planner. I like the monthly calendar view and I enjoy using a planner as a workbook. So, so yeah, I just decided to um, separate out my reading journal and keep it separate. And I put this in my reading bag. I have a little reading bag where I have the books I'm currently reading, a little pencil case with some pens, some sticky notes, and I just slide this in there. And now this reading planner lives in my reading bag as opposed to being buried in like my eight planner solar system. So really happy with it. And something else that I like about having multiple planners instead of like just two mega like Franken planners is that I can play around with all of these covers and really customize the covers to kind of match the like the theme of the planner. So like the uh, that reading journal I just showed you, of course I had to use the Welcome to the Book Club cover, of course. So that was my 15th planner and the last two planners in my 17 planner solar system were my relationship planner and my like social life planner. So let's start with my relationship planner because this is my 17th planner. I was not expecting to have this. And then my boyfriend threw me for a loop. He wanted to have a relationship planner. He wanted to be part of the solar system. And so we tried having one, but I think the problem with that was that I already had so many other planners that it was kind of hard for me to add in another planner and also um, we are long distance and so we're not able to do too much and we do try to talk on the phone every day but besides that it's hard to like plan things and yeah it's just it was a bit difficult to like have a whole planner and like fill up an entire weekly spread with what we did if the only thing we really did was like talk on the phone that week and so i was kind of struggling with it and i at, and for a second there i wanted to just like abandon the whole planner and i just was like this isn't really working out you know i think it was a cute idea we did try but it's just not really working out and i was on the verge of abandoning the whole thing and then I got it into my head to continue the relationship planner, but just have it be like a special moments planner and just, you know, journal in it and scrapbook in it whenever I feel like it and just have it be like a scrapbook dedicated to our relationship and the memories that we have created together as a couple. So for the cover page, I'm using my like Valentine's Day themed uh, cover page, which I really had so much fun putting together. And I actually went back into like my Memory Keeper Happy Planner and I took out a bunch of pages that had a lot to do with me and my boyfriend and so even like so this is the first page and i just took out this page here um because on the back of it i have like pictures of us and then um these are all pages from like a memory keeper i had which i went through and i tossed a lot of the pages because you know i was fine not having them anymore and i just kept my absolute favorite ones and so i just have um a time me and my boyfriend went out to like capture some bees, a camping trip we had, um, just uh, a Polaroid picture we have when we went out camping, my boyfriend's um, birthday dinner, just a picture of my boyfriend and Bugs, a spread that I did when we went on our Arizona road trip, and just like, yeah, just these are all memories from last year that I wanted to keep. And what's nice about this is I can also continue to like decorate them. And so I have a lot of those in here, as you can see. So this is all from last year. This is from this year. I did a couple of scrapbooking pages of our trip to the Grand Canyon and Sedona. Here we go again. And yeah. So, um, I'm just gonna like use this kind of as a memory keeper about us and our relationship and not 
stick to like the temporal nature of a planner with this like I'm not trying to keep up with time I'm just gonna use the planner pages to journal and keep photos of us and all that so yeah this is its own thing now and whenever I feel like it I'm gonna work in it but and so yeah I just decided to keep my relationship planner in this bad boy here it's super cute and whenever I feel like journaling in it, adding photos to it, I can just go ahead and do that. So I'm really happy with how I decided to like, you know, make this my relationship planner. And it's not necessarily like a planner I have to keep up with. It's more like a scrapbook. And so the last planner in my planner lineup was my social planner. So it had everything to do with like families, friends, events, you know, social events. I had that one for the longest time and I had so much fun with it and I decided to phase that one out um, moving forward. This is the first month I do not have that planner, I'm not working in it and honestly that's because in the last three months or so since I started um, my new job I've been like incredibly busy and I have not had the opportunity to really have such an active social life like I had before. And I feel like right now my social life is definitely on the back burner. I'm not going out of my way to be as social as like I'm used to being. And that's totally fine with me because I feel like before I was really like spending a lot of time, you know, socializing and just going to events, meeting new people and I had to kind of sacrifice that a little bit when I took my new position, which is fine with me. And that is totally fine with me. Everything is an ebb and flow in life and there's phases in my life where I feel like I'm definitely more social and then phases in my life where I'm a little bit less social and just times in my life where I'm just more focused on work and times where I am, you know, less focused on work. And so right now I'm currently like more focused on work than I am on like socializing and so I don't necessarily need like a whole planner to like keep track of all of my social life because right now I'm just doing the minimum when it comes to my social life. And before I took my new position, I was very much a social butterfly. I was always trying to find like events to attend, new people to meet. I just, I, am, I have that nature and I just, right now it's, my social life is like very, very, minimal <laughs> uh, which is actually nice it's nice to take a break sometimes and I just don't need like a whole social planner and so I decided to like phase that out and so right now for social events mm, I just put them in my google calendar or if I'm using my desk pad for the week I'll put them on my desk pad or yeah I just don't have a whole planner um, dedicated to that because I usually probably only have like one social event per week at this point so I don't need to have like a whole planner um, for that stuff so all right and that's it we reached the end of talking about everything that's going on with my planner life my planner world I'm really excited to be jumping into this new planner system this new planner setup and I totally forgot but one last planner that I have is my daily planner I just set this up that was probably the last video that I filmed and um, I set up a daily planner and I'm using my gorgeous Saguaro Adventure Awaits uh, planner cover and dividers for this guy. It just got a daily planner and I've just been loving this so much. These are Simply Gilded stickers. And so this is probably the last uh, planner in my setup right now. So I have, let's see, I have right now two Franken planners one that's work related one that's like more home related i have my daily planner i have a standalone fitness planner i have my reading journal i have my japanese journal i have my personal creative planner and i have my relationship planner so that's eight eight planners right now that i am uh, that I divided all of my two mega happy planners into, which I'm fine because I love seeing all these like planner stacks on my desk. Love them. Really happy with how it turned out. 
<sighs> and that is it. We've reached the end. Thank you so much for sticking with me till the very end. That was so much fun. I love talking about planner things. So, um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.